What's up guys, in our last video we were testing the best off-ice puck for stick handling on a rough surface and we did declare a winner. Today we are going to find what is the best puck for passing, saucer passing and shooting and we will declare a winner with this trophy that I won in Tyke back in 1991. Okay, let's take a look at some of the contenders. We got some interesting pucks here. We got the Hummer puck or the ATV Hummer from Franklin. We got uh, the Green Biscuit Pro. We got this uh, crazy Comet puck with these metal things on it. This one I'm interested in, the saucer. You can see it's a little bigger than a puck, but it is made to fly. Maybe this is just a fun puck to really rip, but we're gonna find out which of these pucks is the best. We got a Smart Hockey Green Biscuit knockoff, a little bit of rubber there. That could be pretty good. I'm thinking the feel for that could be good for passing. Let's dump these out and get tested. Thinking we do just like a slide test first, you know, a simple, like I'll pass to you. We'll see if they bounce or whatever. And then from there we'll go with the saucers. Let's go set up. Oh yeah, look at, look at that shadow. You see that? That's the ultimate off ice stick right there. Got them speed holes, man. All right, initial, initial test. Okay, okay. Oh, ah, oh, okay. Nope, that one sucks. <laughs> that, one's, that one's out already. Oh, I told you, look, it busted. I knew it. I said, so I said this, um, yeah, it's already falling apart. Don't buy this pick. Okay. No, it's a no. It's a, I'm out. It's a no for me. I'm gonna give each uh, puck a simple pass back and forth. Just a cream biscuit is good. The shinny puck. Will that even make it to? But no, oh. it's it's uh, it's. I think it's there. Nope. Yeah, she gone. Okay. Street hockey puck. Not bad. Hockey shot puck. It's not bad. Oh, oh, it hops a bit. If it hits a rock, it hops. If it, it, does. it is not bad. It's yeah. not a bad option. Fly puck. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> a little bouncy, but it works. The Comet puck. Not bad, actually. You know what? That's, that's surprising. You know what? Actually, <laughs> but like I'm, I'm over sauce. I'm over like spinning it. You know? Yeah. Easy sauce. Hey. Oh, okay. Actually went okay. But you, you can only use it on one side, right? Like yeah. it's just <laughs> over. And it is light. That stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Can't now. Nope. Out. I really want to sauce it so bad. Yes, I know. We gotta save that for the saucer. <laughs> Not great for a regular pass, but we will try to sauce it. Green Biscuit Pro. Ooh. I yeah. like I like when it touches my blade. You know, it's a nice feeling right there. We got the Hummer Puck. Let's see what she can do. Yeah. Ah, oh ah, no. Ah, ah. no it, it will roll up on you. I don't really like the feel on the blade though. I know, it feels like it's got edges to it. Or like, something. it feels like you're only stick handling like a little sliver. Yeah. Like you're not actually feeling the pot. Oh, <laughs> bouncy. That's got a nice soft feel, but it is freaking loud, eh? Yeah, oh, really loud. Settle down. There you go. Yeah! I don't mind that. Yeah, that's nice. Dangle puck. Surprisingly, it actually works pretty good. Not terrible, yeah. I think it's because it's got the plastic bottom. That actually works really well. I just couldn't justify I using it. I know, like on... for the price of it, to use it out here. It does is... feel nice though. I like that. I really like the feel of it. For simple passing, the ones I would absolutely avoid is the Easy Sauce and the Shinny Puck from Canadian Tire. Uh, everything else is in between except for uh, the Green Biscuit. Love it for passing. The uh, Green Biscuit Pro is great, except for uh, it in long-term use, I don't really recommend it. And uh, the Smart Hockey Puck, I did like. Now we gotta test saucer passes. Really excited for, where is it, where is it? Let's see how far this can fly. Start with like a simple sauce. I'll toss a couple tiles here, launch a few. What do you think the chances are that we'll actually hit these tiles? There's our... Okay, you know we gotta test this easy sauce right off the bat. Oh, all right. You're gonna launch it in the bush. Just gonna gonna float it. Oh, not bad. I mean, it sauces. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I, I do want to send this a long distance. Yeah. I almost feel that's like all the only thing I would use this for. Smart hockey one. Kind of think it'll be my favorite. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I do like the feel. It's got the rubber on it. It's just nice. I'm aiming for the tile on this one. 
Boom! I like that one. It slides well and the rubber outside gives a really good feel for uh, catching and sending that pass. Putting a little extra spin on it because it has that grip to it. I'm thinking this uh, this one for saucing might be pretty good. The shinny one? Oh, okay. For like the feel and the float and everything? Nope. I think it's the worst all around. If you're looking for the worst all around puck, <laughs> go for this one. Hockey shot puck. We got a big cam rolling in here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Oh, nice one. Hockey shot puck works pretty well, and I think it's because it has this textured outside, gives you a little more grip, which you put that nice spin on the puck. Oh, nice. Oh, oh bounce that right, right through home plate. Yeah. Steerike! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I like this one, the two-piece plastic construction lets it slide really well, and then it's got this rubber right here, gives a nice feel. Let's test the hummer. You gonna hum it past me here? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I heard it just slide off your stick. It's, oh, you know why? Talk about an epic fail. I don't even know if it's possible to sauce this thing because when it's moving along the blade, these things just spin and cause the puck to flip up. So this, this might be the worst overall right now. I might just have to really like chop Really it. chop, spin it. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. It's, it was flipping over. It's bad, man. Try it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I think it might be impossible to eat. <laughs> I don't even think it's possible to sauce it. I'm really gonna chop and spin. All right. Like, activate like right there. <laughs> Comet puck, I am guessing this will explode on landing. I mean, that was a laser. It's still intact. It was a comet. Okay. It doesn't feel too bad. It's, it's weird though, because it's like, it's a little higher than a puck. Yeah, so I definitely wouldn't want to get hit with it. I think this one might be actually cheating because, you know, the puck sits like this. So when you try to sauce, like your blade's going to come under your technique. It's not, I don't know if it's even worth trying. Next up, the fly puck. It's all plastic. It's so smooth. I don't like how it feels on the blade. It also bounces quite a lot. It's very bouncy. Yeah. Very smooth edges, don't give you a great feel. Very bouncy, I mean it works, but I don't love the feel of it. Next up, street hockey puck. Easy to sauce, really floats. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Makes me want to go to the beach and play sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, I like it because it's light. You're not afraid of getting hit by it. This is one to use with the kids when they're learning their sauce. Get a street hockey puck, it floats really nicely. That's a good one. Next up, the uh, the green biscuit, even though this one's red. The nice part is when it hits the ground, it doesn't bounce up a lot. Yeah. That's not bad. We're close to picking a champion, but first we gotta do a long bomb sauce. Let's go downtown Charlie Brown. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna send Can it. Can you see me? Yeah, through the uprights. Oh yes, it works. Wow. It's <laughs> nice. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was jerking. not great. I don't know if I'd call it like a sauce training tool. It's more just something fun to mess around with. Okay, yeah, you wanna see how it's done? Boom. Right here. Oh! <laughs> we gotta get one tape to taper. Just land it right there. Do it for the grab. Oh! Let's see if I can send that back. Return the favor. Close enough. Woo! Oh my gosh! This one is, is going to be tough. I think we know yeah. which one not to get. <laughs> yeah. uh, the absolute worst is the Hummer. You just can't sauce with it. it. Yeah, it doesn't it's, doesn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, th this one, it's got the foam, but it's just it's too bouncy. Yeah, like if you, it's not going to bounce and slide at all. Yeah. yeah. So that one's out. Uh, the easy sauce, I think it's worth talking about. It it was fun. Yeah, I like to fly it as far as you can. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's more like a toy, a game, a gimmick, but it's- Backyard you know, it's, kind of thing. Yeah, a yeah. backyard type of thing, maybe. If you if you find it on sale, pick it up for sure. Uh, Off-ice puck, it's good. It's yeah. an option. I'd say for kids, definitely go with that. 
it flies really easily. It feels nice, nice and light. It floats. You can send it long distance and it'll float like in a pool or whatever. So it's, yeah. it's fun. You grab a few of those. They're great. Cheap, 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 cheap. Uh, the the top three. Yeah, it's, this is it's pretty between. close between all those. <laughs> yeah. it, it's tough. I mean, I like the consistency. This always feels good. It always bounces the same. It but doesn't catch an edge as If much. we're going with passing, I do like this. But for saucer passing, these two, yeah. because they have the, the rubbery grip for on it. For the feel of the stick and knocking it down especially. Exactly. Yeah. It feels really nice to catch a sauce. And between these two, we have to go with the smart hockey puck, even though they ripped off Green Biscuit. Yeah, it's, this it's, is it's more contact point. I think like it just oh true yeah like it just feels better over like it feels more like a real puck. And I feel yeah. this is almost too rubbery. And you don't have to listen to it sliding and being noisy either. Yeah, fair, <laughs> fair. Yeah, I, I like the the outer texture they put on this better than the green biscuit. If green biscuit did the same texture there. Yeah, like the solid. I like that. So it, it would be for the winner. Yeah. Going with the smart hockey puck. Stay tuned for our next video. We're gonna test all these off ice pucks for shooting and determine who is the best puck for shooting. And we'll do the overall out of yeah. all three, passing, shooting, stick handling. Grand winner. See you guys <laughs> in the next video.